press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hello children. Subject Social Science. Topic South America Land of Andes. Okay. In this class we study about the new lesson. Lesson number 13. South America Land of Andes. Okay children. In this class we study about location, extent and, uh, and uh, physical settings, rivers and lakes, climates and then we study about uh, natural vegetations wild animals, agriculture and uh, leaf stacks, rearing, composition, distribution and density of population of South America. Okay. Okay, so children, see here, South America is the fourth largest continent in the world. It is the fourth largest continent in the world. South America It is the fourth largest continent. Fourth largest continent in the world. It is a part of Latin America. Okay. When Christopher Columbus reached the continent around 1498 AD, he reached this continent around 1498 AD. Okay, children. Who reached this continent? Christopher Columbus. Christopher. Christopher Columbus. Columbus. He reached this continent in 1498 AD. Okay. He mistook. What he mistook? Why he mistook? He mistook it for India. Understood, children? He mistook, he thought this continent is India, but and called brown colored natives as the red Indians. That's why he called brown colored natives, call, he called red Indians. Understood, understood children? Soon the Europeans flooded the continent. Once again, see here, South America is the fourth largest continent in the world. It is a part of Latin America. Okay. Christopher Columbus, he reached the continent around 1498 AD. Okay. He mistook, understood. And then he called, uh, he mistook and it for called India. He thought uh, it is India and called brown colored natives as the red Indians. Okay. Soon later on what happened? The Europeans flooded the continent. South America is the land of superlatives with the Andes and the Amazon. Here we see Andes and Amazon. Amazon River. Over a quarter of the world's non-copper reserves are found here. Here we see here copper copper reserves are found here. It is the world largest producer of coffee. Now we study about the spe speciality about the South America. Understood children? When here we see Andes and the Amazon river over a quarter of the world's now copper reserves are found here and then we see here the world's largest producer of coffee. It is popular called Hello Land. Hello. It is called as Hello Land. Hello Land. Okay, and land of grasslands, the study of South America help us to know various geographical and economic features of the continent. Understood children? Okay, see here. South America has none children. We have some, some in continents, isn't it? South America is the fourth largest continent in the world. Okay, uh, so there are uh, reasons how they are started to call brown colored natives as the red Indians, isn't it? It is the speciality about the South America. So it is first the largest producer of continent, first largest, largest producer of coffee. So it is first largest producer of coffee. Okay. First largest producer of coffee. 
okay see here so it is the first largest uh, largest producer of coffee as we study so you will about the continent how the what are the speciality will uh, be going to learn is children see here now we study about location extent and physical settings understood children see here now we study about location location okay the continent this continent south america continent lies mainly in the southern hemisphere okay it is lies in the southern hemisphere southern hemisphere and a small portion is found uh, in the northern hemisphere once again children this continent lies uh, lies in the southern hemisphere and the small portion is found in the northern hemisphere okay the equator the equator and the tropic of capricorn passes through the continent understood children the tropic of capricorn and equator passes through the continent passes through this continent it is inverted it is triangle in shape understood this continent is triangle in shape this continent is triangle in shape okay broader in the north isn't it see here page number 138 see here children here we have map understood okay it is a uh, triangle in shape isn't it and then we see here broader in the north isn't it open your book and see this picture okay see this map children border in the north and uh, uh, tapers towards the south its latitudinal and longitudinal extent is 12 degree north to 56 degree south see here once again the equator and the tropic of capricorn passes through this continent passes through the continent it is a uh, it is a triangle in shape this continent is triangle in shape broader is broader broader in the north understood in the north we see it is broader and uh, tapers towards the south its uh, latitudinal longitudinal extent is 12 degree north 12 degree north to 56 degree south okay children latitudes 12 degree north to 56 degree south latitudes south latitudes latitudes okay and then we see here 35 degree west to 81 degree west longitudes 35 degree west to 81 degree west longitude longitudes okay this continent the continent of uh, south america is located in the western hemisphere okay see here you can see it is located in that mainly southern hemisphere isn't it this continent is southern hemisphere a small portion is found in the north hemisphere or northern hemisphere children okay once again open your book 138 page number look here children it map of south america it is the map of it is map of south america okay and then we study about physical settings physical physical settings of south america this continent the continent is surrounded by water bodies this continent surrounded by the water bodies on all sides okay except in the north this continent surrounded by the water bo water bodies on all side except uh, na in the north in the north the panama canal we see here in the north panama canal in the north we see panama canal panama canal 
द पनामा कैनल सेपरेट साउथ अमेरिका फ्रॉम नॉर्थ अमेरिका अंडरस्टूड चिल्ड्रन विच कैनल सेपरेट साउथ अमेरिका फ्रॉम नॉर्थ नॉर्थ अमेरिका चिल्ड्रन द पनामा कैनल सेपरेट साउथ अमेरिका फ्रॉम द नॉर्थ अमेरिका अंडरस्टूड हियर द कैरेबियन सी हियर वी सी कैरेबियन सी बॉर्डर्स इन द नॉर्थ and the atlantic ocean in the east north east and then we see here the pacific ocean lies in the west and the south is bordered by the icy waters of antarctica okay see here it is the fourth largest continent isn't it children which is the fourth largest continent in the world children south america is the fourth largest continent in the world it lies to the south of north america it lies to the south of north america isn't it these two continent which are uh, north america and south america attached by a narrow strip uh, it attached these ha uh, huh, these two continent attached by a narrow strip stripe of land known as isthmus of panama isthmus of panama isthmus of panama or panama channel this continent uh, this continent has uh, broadened at the top isn't it once again see here it is the fourth largest continent in the world okay uh, south america is the fourth largest continent in the world it lies the south of north america isn't it these two continents uh, north america and south america attached by a narrow stripe of land known as isthmus of panama or panama canal this continent has broadened at the top isn't it children okay and then we study about we already learnt about its locations also okay the distance from north to south uh, is uh, around uh, 77000 km south america extend from uh, 12 degree north to 56 degree uh, south isn't it south latitudes and then uh, the equator passes through the northern part uh, part 8 okay and tropic of capricorn runs through the middle of this continent isn't it its east to west distance is around 4353 km the longitude extent is 35 degree west to 81 degree well west longitudes okay divide the continent roughly to equal parts understood children longitudes uh, divide the continent roughly to equal parts south america surround, surrounded by the which sea children caribbean sea south america surrounded by the caribbean sea in the north west okay atlantic ocean in the north east and south east okay and the pacific ocean is west and the southern ocean in the south its neighboring continents are north america of the north isn't it isn't it children its neighboring continents are continent are north america okay to the north africa to the east africa to the east and uh, you can see antarctica in the south okay the southern most step as known as cape horn uh, drake passage supports to the, to this continent from antarctica once again i will repeat here children see here now we study about learn about the location okay the distance from north to south is around 7000 km 7000 km okay south america extend from 12 degree north to 56 degree north latitudes okay the equator passes through the northern part 8 and tropic of capricorn runs through the middle of this continent understood its east to west distance is around 4353 km the longitudes extent the longitude extent is 35 degree 
to 35 degree west to 81 degree west longitudes. Okay. Divide the continent roughly to equal parts. Okay. Atlantic Ocean in the, we see here uh, South America surrounded by the water bodies. Isn't it? By water bodies on all sides except in the north. Isn't it? South America surrounded by the Caribbean Sea. Which sea? Caribbean Sea in the north. Okay. North, west. And then Atlantic Ocean. We see here Atlantic Ocean also. It is in the northeast and southeast. And then the Pacific Ocean is west and the Southern Ocean in the south. Its neighboring continent is North America, okay, North America to the north. Africa, neighboring uh, continents are North America to the north, Africa to the east and can you see Antarctica to the south, okay, children. Next we study about South America has a... Uh, Physical settings. Now we study about the physical settings. Now we study about physical settings. This continent, okay, this continent uh, we already study about the physical. Uh, settings also isn't it children the continent is surrounded by the water bodies on all sides except in the north isn't it the Panama Canal separates South America from North America or Isthmus of Panama okay the Caribbean Sea borders the north the Atlantic Ocean in the east and northeast the Pacific Ocean lies in the west and the south is bordered by the icy waters of Antarctica Okay, now we study about extent also. The land area of South America is about 178.6 lakh square kilometer and it is three and a half times bigger than it, India. Understood children? It is bigger than India. This continent is bigger than India. There are 13 countries. Here we see how many countries children? 13 countries. 13 countries. In this continent, okay, Brazil is the largest and uh, which is the largest country children? Brazil, Brazil, okay, Brazil is the largest country and uh, French Guiana is the smallest country, Guiana, Guiana is the smallest country in this continent. All the countries of South America have a coastal line. All countries have coastal line except Bolivia and Paraguay. Okay. Chile is a linear country. Understood children? Chile is a, Chile is a linear country. Nidavada Rastranta Heltare. Okay. See here. Now we will Dakshina America and this Kalanado, either e part of an Adhyana Marta di Velva. Dakshina America, Prapanchida Nalakanea, Ati Doda, Bu Kandavagide, Hodalva, Dakshina America, Prapanchida Nalakanea, Ati Doda, Bu Kanda Agide. Krishna Shaka Savir the Nanurathamata enter Ali, Christopher Columbus and Martane, Bu Kandavana, Taluptane, Adra than Bharata and Dono, Bavistane, and the Tapagiana than a Bharata and the Tilkondirtan Adrano, Talpiro de Elige, Dakshuna America Kehogirtane, but other than now the Pagi and Talpane Marcondirtane, Adu Bharata and Condain Martane, Alina Stadiarana, Red Indians and Dono, Karitane, understood children, Red Indian Erendu Onu Karitane, Anantara, European Eru Ibu Kandake. Bartare Dakshina America, who Andes, Parvatamatu, Ameja, Andrei, Dakshina America, the Vishistate, no yen speciality, Drudu, Ilina, who Andes, Parvatamate, Amezan, Nadi, Veveste, Vulavantaha, Visheshavada, Bubaga, Agide, Vevestena, Vandirvantaha, Vandu Visheshavada, Bubaga, Agide, Adu Prapanchale, Adika Kapi and Nabele, Yuantaha, 
ಉತ್ಪಾದಿಸುತ್ತದೆ ಇದನ್ನು ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯವಾಗಿ ಹುಲ್ಲುಗಾವಲುಗಳ ನಾಡು ಅಂತಲೂ ಕೂಡ ಕರೆಯಲಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಓಕೆ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ನಾವು ಇವಾಗ ಸ್ಥಾನ ವಿಸ್ತಾರ ಮತ್ತು ಭೌಗೋಳಿಕ ಸನ್ನಿವೇಶದ ಬಗ್ಗೆನೂ ಕೂಡ ತಿಳ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದೀವಿ ದಕ್ಷಿಣ ಅಮೆರಿಕ ಖಂಡದ ಬಹು ಬಹುಭಾಗವು ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾರ್ಧ ಗೋಳದ ಗೋಳಾರ್ಧದಲ್ಲಿ ಇದೆ ಈ ಖಂಡವು ಅಂದರೆ ದಕ್ಷಿಣ ಅಮೆರಿಕ ಖಂಡವು ಬಹುಭಾಗ ಅಂದರೆ ದಕ್ಷಿಣ ಗೋಳಾರ್ಧದಲ್ಲಿ ಇದೆ ಓಕೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಭಾಗ ಉತ್ತರ ಉತ್ತರಾರ್ಧ ಗೋಳದಲ್ಲಿದೆ ಬಹು ಭೂಮಧ್ಯ ರೇಖೆ ಮತ್ತು ಮಕರ ಸಂಕ್ರಾಂತಿ ವೃತ್ತಗಳು ಕೂಡ ಈ ಖಂಡದ ಮೂಲಕ ಹಾದು ಹೋಗ್ತವೆ ಓಕೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನಾವಿಲ್ಲಿ ದಕ್ಷಿಣ ಅಮೆರಿಕ ಖಂಡವು ಉತ್ತರ ಭಾಗವನ್ನ ಹೊರತುಪಡಿಸಿ ಉಳಿದೆಲ್ಲ ದಿಕ್ಕುಗಳು ಜಲಭಾಗಗಳಿಂದ ಸುತ್ತುವರೆದಿದ್ದಾವೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಉತ್ತರ ಭಾಗವನ್ನ ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಎಲ್ಲಾ ದಿಕ್ಕಿನಿಂದಲೂ ಎಲ್ಲ ಉಳಿದಂತ ಎಲ್ಲಾ ದಿಕ್ಕನ ದಿಕ್ಕಿನಿಂದಲೂ ಕೂಡ ಇದು ನೀರಿನಿಂದ ಆವೃತ ಅಂದರೆ ಸುತ್ತುವರೆದಿದೆ ಉತ್ತರದಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಪನಾಮ ಕಾಲುವೆ ಉತ್ತರ ಈ ಪನಾಮ ಕಾಲುವೆ ಏನು ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಉತ್ತರ ಅಮೆರಿಕ ಮತ್ತು ದಕ್ಷಿಣ ಅಮೆರಿಕಗಳನ್ನು ಅದು ಪ್ರತ್ಯೇಕಿಸುತ್ತೆ ಓಕೆ ಯಾವುದು ಪನಾಮ ಕಾಲುವೆ ಪನಾಮ ಕಾಲುವೆ ಉತ್ತರ ಅಮೆರಿಕ ಮತ್ತು ದಕ್ಷಿಣ ಅಮೆರಿಕವನ್ನು ಬೇರ್ಪಡಿಸುತ್ತೆ ಓಕೆ ದಕ್ಷಿಣ ಅಮೆರಿಕ ಖಂಡವು ಉತ್ತರದಲ್ಲಿ ಅಂದರೆ ದಕ್ಷಿಣ ಅಮೆರಿಕ ಖಂಡ ಕೆರೆ ಉತ್ತರದಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಕೆರೇಬಿಯನ್ ಸಮುದ್ರ ಗಡಿಯಿಂದ ಮತ್ತು ಪೂರ್ವ ಮತ್ತು ಈಶಾನ್ಯ ಭಾಗದಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಅಟ್ಲಾಂಟಿಕ್ ಸಾಗರದಿಂದ ಅದು ಸುತ್ತುವರೆಯಲ್ಪಟ್ಟಿದೆ ಪಶ್ಚಿಮದಲ್ಲಿ ಪೆಸಿಫಿಕ್ ಮಹಾಸಾಗರವನ್ನು ನೋಡ್ಬೋದು ದಕ್ಷಿಣದಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಅಟ್ಲಾಂಟಿಕ್ ಅಟ್ಲಾಂ ಅಟ್ಲಾಂಟಿಕ್ ಸಾಗರದ ಹಿಮ ನೀರಿನಿಂದ ಅದು ಆವರಿಸಲ್ ಪಟ್ಟಿದೆ ಓಕೆ ದಕ್ಷಿಣ ಅಮೆರಿಕ ಒಟ್ಟು ಬಹುಭಾಗ ಸುಮಾರು ನೂರ ಎಪ್ಪತ್ತ ಏಳು ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಒಂದು ಲಕ್ಷ ಚದರ ಕಿಲೋಮೀಟರ್ಗಳಷ್ಟಿದ್ದು ಇದು ಭಾರತಕ್ಕಿಂತಲೂ ಮೂರುವರೆ ಪಟ್ಟು ದೊಡ್ಡದಾಗಿದೆ ಓಕೆ ಈ ಖಂಡದಲ್ಲಿ ಒಟ್ಟು ಹದಿಮೂರು ರಾಷ್ಟ್ರಗಳಿವೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ರಾಷ್ಟ್ರಗಳಿವೆ ಹದಿಮೂರು ರಾಷ್ಟ್ರಗಳಿವೆ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ದೊಡ್ಡ ರಾಷ್ಟ್ರ ಯಾವುದು ಬ್ರೆಜಿಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಗಯಾನ ಅತಿ ಚಿಕ್ಕ ರಾಷ್ಟ್ರ ಈ ಖಂಡದಲ್ಲಿ ಅತಿ ಚಿಕ್ಕ ರಾಷ್ಟ್ರ ಯಾವುದು ಗಯಾನ ಬೊಲಿವಿಯಾ ಮತ್ತು ಪರಾಗ್ವೆ ಬೊಲಿವಿಯಾ ಮತ್ತು ಪರಾಗ್ವೆ ಹೊರತುಪಡಿಸಿ ದಕ್ಷಿಣ ಅಮೆರಿಕದ ಉಳಿದ ಉಳಿದೆಲ್ಲ ದೇಶಗಳು ಕೂಡ ಸಮುದ್ರ ತೀರವನ್ನ ಹೊಂದಿವೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಅಂದರೆ ಬಹುತೇಕ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕಂಟ್ರಿಗಳು ಕೂಡ ಸಮುದ್ರ ತೀರ ಪ್ರದೇಶಗಳನ್ನು ಅದು ಹೊಂದಿವೆ ಚಿಲಿ ದೇಶವು ನೀಳವಾದ ರಾಷ್ಟ್ರ ಆಗಿದೆ ಓಕೆ ನಾವ್ ವಿ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ಸೆಟ್ಟಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಾಂಟಿನೆಂಟ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಸಿ ಹ್ಯೋ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ಸೆಟ್ಟಿಂಗ್ಸ್ physical features south america has spectacular topographical features okay it has the mountains with the snow covered peaks and the dense uh, dense equatorial forest the continent has rich fertile plain lands as well as dry dry wasteful deserts the major physical divisions of the continent are the andes mountains the andes mountains andes mountains second one is the eastern highlands eastern highlands eastern highlands the central lowlands central lowlands fourth one the western the western coastal plains coastal plains these are the physical features of south america and as to children the major physical divisions of the continent they are the andes mountains the eastern highlands the central lowlands and the western coastal plains okay first one is the andes mountains now we study about the andes mountains this is the longest mountain this andes mountain is very uh, these are the very longest mountain ranges in the world okay uh, this uh, range is running to a distance of 6440 km long along the pacific coast okay many earthquakes and volcanoes are found in the belt due 
to its presence in the pacific ring of fire okay mount aconcagua mount aconcagua argentina chile border is the highest peak in the mountain range which is the highest peak in the mountain range children mount aconcagua mount aconcagua Akanka Gua, this is the highest peak in this continent, or in a highest peak in the mountain range. Other peaks are Mount Cotopaxi, Mount Mount Cotopaxi, okay, and then Cotopaxi and uh, Mount. Chimbra, Chimbrazo in uh, Ecuador, the Andes are rich in minerals like, like copper and tin. We see here which is the highest peak in this mountain range children, Mount Aconcagua. And then we see here other peaks are Mount Cotopaxi, understood it is 5896 meter, understood. And then we see here Mount Chimbor Chimborazo and then uh, here uh, Chimborazo in Ecuador and then the Andes are rich in which minerals children here we see copper and tin here we see copper uh, these uh, mountains are rich in copper copper and tin the Andes mountain rich in which minerals like copper and tin next here we will see, learn about the different physical features. Isn't it children of this continent? The Andes are western mountains. Understood? Andes, okay. Andes mountains. The Andes mountains, okay. The, it consists of the ranges of the Andes mountain system. The Andes longest mountains system of the world, okay. They are young fold just like the Himalayas. It is stretched for almost... Uh, uh, 6440 kilometer for the southern tip of the South America to its northmost point okay being part of the Pacific uh, ring of fire the region has many volcano, volcanoes okay Mount Cotopaxi it is very good example Mount Cotopaxi it is the very good example of an active volcano okay and another volcano peak Mount Aconcagua okay highest peak in South America understood children okay the highlands the highlands see here the plano one of the largest plateaus next we study about the eastern highlands the eastern highlands the this region this region comprises two distinct highlands the guiana highlands here we see the guiana highlands in the north and the brazilian highlands in the south once again this region comprises two distinct highlands first one is which one children the guiana highlands okay in the north and second one is brazilian highlands in the south understood children see here these are made up of old rocks these are made up of old these uh, highlands are made up of old rocks like the deccan plateau of india okay river River Churan, a tributary of Orinoco, has formed the world's highest waterfalls, waterfalls, Angel Falls in the Guiana Shield. Okay, see here children, here we see this region comprises two distinct highlands. First one is the Guiana Highlands in north and second one is the Brazilian Highlands in the south okay these are these uh, highlands made up made up of old rocks like uh, deccan plateau of india okay river churan here we see river river churan a plat river churan a tributary of orinoco river it is tributary 
ಉಪನದಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ವಿಚ್ ರಿವರ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಓರಿ ನಾಕೋ ಓರಿ ನೋಕೋ ಓರಿ ನೋಕೋ ರಿವರ್ ಚೂರನ್ ಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಟರಿ ಆಫ್ ಓರಿ ನೋಕೋ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಹೈಯೆಸ್ಟ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಫಾಲ್ಸ್ ಏಂಜಲ್ ಫಾಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಗಿಯಾನ ಶೀಲ್ಡ್ ಇಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಓರಿ ನೋಕೋ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಹೈಯೆಸ್ಟ್ ರೈನ್ ಫಾ ವಾಟರ್ ಫಾಲ್ ಏಂಜಲ್ ಫಾಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಗಿಯಾನ ಶೀಲ್ಡ್ ಓಕೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಸೆಂಟ್ರಲ್ ಲೋಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ದ ಸೆಂಟ್ರಲ್ ಲೋಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಲೈ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದೀಸ್ ಲೋಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಲೈ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದ ಆಂಡೀಸ್ ಮೌಂಟೈನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ಟರ್ನ್ ಹೈಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟೂಡ್ ದೀಸ್ ಸೆಂಟ್ರಲ್ ಲೋಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಲೈ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದ ಆಂಡೀಸ್ ಮೌಂಟೈನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ಟರ್ನ್ ಹೈಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ದೀಸ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಲಾರ್ಜ್ ರಿವರ್ ಬೇಸಿನ್ಸ್ ಯು ವಿ ಸಿ ಲಾರ್ಜ್ ರಿವರ್ ಬೇಸಿನ್ಸ್ ದೆ ಆರ್ ದ ಅಮೆಝಾನ್ ದ ಅಮೆಝಾನ್ ಅಮೆಝಾನ್ ದ ಅಮೆಝಾನ್ ದ ಓರಿನಾಕೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಲಾಪ್ಲಾಟ್ ರಿವರ್ ಬೇಸಿನ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ದ ಅಮೆಝಾನ್ ಬೇಸಿನ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ನೋಟೆಬಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲಾರ್ಜೆಸ್ಟ್ ಅಮಾಂಗ್ ದೆಮ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ವೆರಿ ಲಾರ್ಜೆಸ್ಟ್ ಅಮಾಂಗ್ ದೆಮ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಅಮೆಝಾನ್ 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 ಬೇಸಿನ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ನೋಟೆಬಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೆರಿ ಲಾರ್ಜೆಸ್ಟ್ ಅಮಾಂಗ್ ದೆಮ್ ಓಕೆ ದ ಓರಿನೋಕೋ ರಿವರ್ ದ ಓರಿನೋಕೋ ರಿವರ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ದ ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನಾರ್ದರ್ನ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಓಕೆ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಪ್ರೇಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ಗಿಯಾನ ಹೈಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಪ್ರೇಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ಗಿಯಾನ ಹೈಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಅಮೆಝಾನ್ ಬೇಸಿನ್ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಚಾಕೋ ಓಕೆ ಈಸ್ ಎ ವ್ಯಾಸ್ಟ್ ಲೋ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಲುವಿಯಂ ಏರಿಯಾ ಫೌಂಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಈಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಂಡೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಫೇಮಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಗ್ರೇಸಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಸೌತ್ ಸೆಂಟ್ರಲ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೌತ್ ಅಮೆರಿಕಾ ಓಕೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಕೋಸ್ಟಲ್ ಪ್ಲೇನ್ಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ನ್ಯಾರೋ ಪ್ಲೇನ್ಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ನ್ಯಾರೋ ಪ್ಲೇನ್ಸ್ ಫೌಂಡ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದ ಪೆಸಿಫಿಕ್ ಓಷಿಯನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಆಂಡೀಸ್ ಮೌಂಟೈನ್ ರೇಂಜ್ ಓಕೆ ದ ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಕೋಸ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಟು ಕೋಸ್ಟಲ್ ಪ್ಲೇನ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ಯಾಚರ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದ ಆಂಡೀಸ್ ಮೌಂಟೈನ್ಸ್ ರೈಸ್ ಡೀಪ್ಲಿ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಕೋಸ್ಟ್ ನ್ಯಾರೋ ಕೋಸ್ಟಲ್ ಪ್ಲೇನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಫೌಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಸೆಂಟ್ರಲ್ ಚಿಲಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕೊಲಂಬಿಯಾ ವೇರ್ ವಿ ಫೈನ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಚಿಲಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕೊಲಂಬಿಯಾ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ದ ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಕೋಸ್ಟ್ ದ ಕೋಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈನ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಂಡೆಂಟೆಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಮೆನಿ ಬಿಗ್ ಸಿಟೀಸ್ ಲೈ ಇನ್ ದ ಕೋಸ್ಟಲ್ ಪ್ಲೇನ್ಸ್ ಮೆನಿ ಬಿಗ್ ಸಿಟೀಸ್ ಲೈ ಇನ್ ದ ಕೋಸ್ಟಲ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ದೆರ್ ಆರ್ ಮೆನಿ ಐಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸದರ್ನ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ವಿಸ್ ಫಾಕ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಹಾರ ಹಾರ್ನೋಸ್ ಐಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಗಾಲಪಾಗೋಸ್ ಲೈಸ್ ಇನ್ ನಾರ್ತ್ ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೌತ್ ಅಮೆರಿಕಾ ಓಕೆ ಸಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ದ ಹೈಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ದ ಪ್ಲಾನೋ ದ ಆಂಟಿ ಪ್ಲಾನೋ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲಾರ್ಜೆಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ಲಾಟು ಇನ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಇಟ್ ಲೊಕೇಟೆಡ್ ಬೊಲೋವಿಯಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪೆರು two important lakes are located uh, and uh, antiplago lake titica the largest lake in the south america and another is lake popo isn't it children see here sis the andes and uh, and the huge crossing crossing is a big challenge mountain passes a very important role this region what is mountain pass children what is mountain pass in a group of mountain pass is a path for crossing among them in a group of mountains in a group of mountains a pass is a path okay for crossing among them it allows the easy access to the climbers okay aspalata pass connects uh, argentina and another important pass is the aqua negra this also connects chile with argentina understood and then we study about the central lowlands isn't it these are the vast vast plains they occupies the central part of the continent isn't it they are surrounded by the andes on the west the guiana highlands in the north the brazilian highlands this in the east isn't it the
and found here the central region grain by the amazon the central region drained by the amazon river which originates in the peruvian andes it follows almost uh, over 7 million square kilometer children of land before reach into the atlantic ocean okay it is the second largest river in the world after the nile okay the mato grosso plateau of the of uh, is divided between the amazon river amazon river basin and the parana paraguay uruguay basins and basin bas basins to the south the parana and uruguay rivers drain into the rio dalapata okay dalapata and that lies between argentina and uruguay the paraguay river is the tributary of the parana second largest river in the south america okay the iguaza falls arrives uh, of waterfalls at the distance uh, for almost 3 km okay are the part of parana river extensive grasslands called the pampas are also found along the parana and then the pantanal is the largest wetland in the world whereas the gran chaco gran chaco which lies south of the pantanal is a semi arid region with thorn bushes thorn bushes low trees and dry grasslands also found here the sao francisco river originates in the minas Jiraiz and uh, flows almost entirely through Brazil before drying uh, in the drain into the Atlantic Ocean. This river is an important source of hydroelectric power and hydroelectric power and irrigation for Eastern North and Brazil. Okay. Now we study about we already. learned about the eastern highlands uh, the it consist of the guiana highland the brazilian highlands and the patagonian plateau isn't it the guiana highlands and the brazilian highlands are separated by amazon river system the guiana highlands and brazilian highlands are separated by amazon river system the guiana highlands are located into the north the guiana highlands are located into the north of amazon river okay the brazilian hi highlands to the south the brazilian highlands to the south both these plateaus are residual mountains which are made up of old hard rock these mountains made up of old hard rocks the plateau of mato grosso lies and the western part of the brazilian highland okay patagonia plateau patagonia plateau is plateau is located along the and is in southern argentina okay then we study about the coastal plains also south america has two narrow coastal plains children is indeed one lies along north eastern brazil and another lies in along the west coast south america between the pacific ocean and the and this isn't it the north east coastal plain is narrow the north east coastal plain is very narrow and small and very dry whereas the western coastal plain is one of the longest coastal plains of in the world understood children it is wide in almost places but the but becomes narrow to points in the and this get sharply into the ocean okay once again the north east coastal plain is narrow the north east coastal plain is narrow very small isn't it children small and very dry the western coastal plain is one of the longest coastal western plain is the western coastal plain is one of the longest coastal plains of in the world it is wide is most it is wide in almost places but the uh, but it becomes but, but it becomes narrow at points in the andes okay get sharply into the ocean understood children thank you